Hey everyone, welcome to how to create a first person shooter level in Unity. In this episode, we are going to create a basic map with free assets we can get from the Unity Asset Store. We will be using the first person shooter series. You can follow this playlist by clicking on the notification card at the top, but there is no need to follow the full series. You can do this in any project. I would appreciate if you can comment down below to let me know what other type of tutorials you would love to see in this channel, as I would like to expand my content more, or even comment what you like in this video or what I could take into consideration. If you are in the same project that I have open in front of me, then make sure to do the following for better testing. First, we are going to upgrade to the latest LTS version. The latest LTS version I currently have is 2021.3.11 F1. Problems with the current version is that the computer shows that you have high FPS, but the game will still remain choppy and laggy even after a build. This bug was fixed by Unity. It is best practice to stay on the latest LTS version. So inside of Unity Hub, make sure to click on the editor version next to your project and select the latest LTS and open. Make sure to click continue when it prompts to change the project version. If your layout is not the same, then you can always drag the tabs around. We want the scene view to be larger than the game view. To have better testing experience, we are also going to open the lighting settings. Go to Window, Rendering, Lighting, and disable the baked global illumination inside of the mixed lighting and disable auto generate at the bottom. Inside of the environment settings, we will then disable fog. If you prefer the fog, then you can leave this enabled and just adjust the settings as you would like. If you do not have your own assets to use for this tutorial, then you can use the same assets that I will be using. To have a level to run in gives a lot more feel to the game and will pinpoint a lot of checkboxes that needs to be completed for the ultimate experience. Make sure to add the FPS game assets for PC in the description below to your assets and Skybox series free, which is optional. Once you have done this, import the assets and then we can start with the full level design. While the lighting tab is open, for extra changes we will be changing the skybox to not be the default. Open the skybox asset and change the skybox material to any of the materials inside of the pack. I will be going with the sunless Kiris cover material. Drag and drop the material inside of the skybox material box. Move the imported packages inside of the imported assets folder. First, let us have a look at what this package holds. We can open map underscore version one scene and make sure to save the changes to the current scene. Once we have opened the scene, then we will see all the materials has lost their color. This is because the package is using the built-in render system. This project is using the universal render pipeline. If you are using the URP system like I am and inside of the 2021 version of Unity, then head to Window, Rendering, Render Pipeline Converter, change the drop-down to Built into URP, scroll to Materials Upgrade, and tick the box and click Initialize Converters. Then click Convert Assets. Now we can see all the assets and how we can implement them in our own level that we will be creating. For the level, we are going to use the shipment map in Call of Duty as inspiration for this level. Let's head back into the game scene. In the scene view, we will disable the gizmos and hide the UI from the scene. We will be enabling this at the end of the episode again. This is just not to see all the lines and the UI while working in the scene view with level design. Now we will create a new empty game object and call it environments and go through the pack to find our floor to walk on. But before we go through the pack, let us get a good image of what we want to achieve on the world to build upon. Inside the description down below, you will find a link to the shipment map of Call of Duty, which we are going to use. Once you have the image downloaded, make sure to drag it inside of your sprites folder. Select the sprite image and change the texture type to 2D and UI and sprite mode to single and hit apply. Delete the ground plane if you have one as we are going to create the floor to walk on. Create a new UI canvas and change render mode to world space. Rotate the canvas on the X rotation to 90. 
and scale the canvas to 0.1 on the X, Y, and Z and make sure the position is zeroed out and then on the position Y and make sure it is minus 0.1 just so that it is a bit below the floor for now. Also change the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Inside of the UI canvas, we will create a new UI image and rename the image to demo. In the source image, we will drag in the sprite image and tick preserve aspect box. We will then click on the anchor presets and hold alt and select stretch to have the image take up the full canvas size. Now that we have the base blueprint on what we would like to achieve, now we will play some floor prefabs which is inside of the imported asset. We will be using the road set V1 B floor for the new ground. Make sure environments is zeroed out and once we have the prefab in the scene, we can start placing them all next to each other. I will start on the red border on the side. Duplicate the floor and make sure it is placed underneath the environment game object. You can place this easily next to the other floor game object by snapping the vertices. Once duplicated with Ctrl and D, hold down the V key while in the scene view and make sure the box in the middle changes. If it doesn't, then just pan around a little bit and then hold your mouse on the bottom right. Snap the tile to the left side of the previous tile. You will see it snaps correctly like this. Otherwise, you can just move it manually by holding in control and selecting one of the axes and just move to the desired direction. Once you have placed all your floor tiles inside of the environment game object, create a new empty game object and rename it to ground and drag and drop all of the objects inside of ground. At the same time, make sure all of the floor tiles are zero on the Y position. Now we would want to cut off the rest of the world view. First, let's place the map above the floor. Go to canvas and change the Y position to 0.1. We will use the two prefabs inside of fences. Concrete Fences, Concrete Fence version 1, C1 for the corner and Concrete Fence version 1, S1 for the sides. We can start with one corner and place the corner side correctly and then follow with the sides. We will then just duplicate and make sure to place them next to each other correctly with vertex snapping by pressing V. Once you are done with one of the sides, Make sure to create another empty game object underneath environment and rename this to borders and drag and drop all the walls inside of borders and continue with all of the sides until you are done with the full setup. Once you are done with the full setup, now we can adjust the Y of the walls to above the floor. Then we can start with implementing the containers in the level. We can adjust the map to be in the middle and then start placing the container prefabs. Make sure to use any of the containers inside of the cargo container version 1. Create a new empty game object inside of the hierarchy and call it containers. Place all the containers, scale and rotate the containers to match. To go through the tools when using Windows, you can use QWERTY on the keyboard. Not sure what it is for Mac. Feel free to comment down below if you know. Make sure all of the containers are on zero Y position so that we can adjust them to the floor level. Disable the world canvas and do the adjustments. Now let's re-enable the world canvas and build out the rest of the props. Inside of the environment game object, we can create another empty game object and call it props. I will start with placing some barrels and then some dumpsters and then some pallets, position one and scale, and duplicate for the rest and position. Make sure the Y position stays on zero. We will adjust that soon. Now delete the world canvas from the hierarchy as we won't need the reference anymore. And then make sure to reposition all of the props above the floor level by making sure they are all on zero in the Y. Now that we have a basic level and a new skybox, now we can get some background environment into the scene. Inside of the environment game object, create another empty game object and call it background. Add any of the prefabs inside of the pack on the outsides of the wall to make it look more populated when playing. 
use the game scene as a reference by moving the player around and looking at its camera's perspective. After placing the background, re-enable the gizmos in the scene view and re-enable the UI canvas just to have this back. Play the game and test out the scene. If you are using your own scene with no character controller inside to walk around in, then make sure to download the Unity Starter Asset Pack, where you can just drag and drop the FPS controller prefab in the scene to test out the full scene. You can now expand in any way you want and play around with even more free assets from the Unity Asset Store, or just use your own. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already joined the Discord channel, please come share how your project looks and share your experience with this project. Check out all the links down below for all of the information. Source code link is also down below as well as the full Git project. Remember about the comment down below with what you would like to see next. Keep well and see you in the next episode. Cheers.